Alright, yeah, let's do that. This is like the the western game? It's that's all I remember about it. It's like a vague western now. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything like Mad Dog McCree? I don't know, but uh, I suddenly remember that Mad Dog McCree somehow got a Japanese dub. Uh, so, there's that. Okay. Just to really emphasize that it's a Western. Well, this one's really loud. Hold on. Uh <laughs> Is it fine on your end? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it down a bit more for me. Well, how do I reload? Okay. <laughs> hey! Well, that, that guy was basically a knuckle fighter character. Oh, okay. There's so many combat roles going on in these games. Die, you varmint. I just love doing combat roles. <laughs> See, these civilians are way, way easier to not accidentally shoot. What did he just say? Leave them forces to the king of fighters. <laughs> God, what an odd era of arcade games, you know? Player one. You can't hit the bronze side of a barn? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to die! Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, never mind. Well, there's clones of her, uh, elsewhere. Oh, that that's just cruel. This is also just a very odd choice for a sequel. I suppose it makes sense, uh... There's lethal enforcers everywhere, in any time period, any country, any, uh... Oh. <laughs> See, she's fine. Oh. Wouldn't it be such a bummer that, like, any civilian you kill in a light gun game, they just don't, like, show up for the rest of the game? <laughs> That would that would be really sucky if they gave you health. In fact, I wonder if any any of these light gun games have done that. Area fifty one sure did. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's that guy's uh that guy's grand entrance was just standing there. Whoa. In fact, uh that guy. Due to the hair, uh, he kind of looks like one of the dudes from The Town With No Name. Maybe that is him. Okay. This is a very good look-alike. <laughs> yeah. Massive Jake, I think his name is, was. Fuck! Alright, well. See, when you say that, we have to expect Shaky Jake to show up. <laughs> Uh, that would be perfect. He's, he's like the boss that breathes fire at you. Player one, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> All 
All right, we got our boss. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Uh. I kind of can't. Reload. I'm trying. Ugh. I'm trying to keep it going, man. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. My poor hand. Okay, so that guy's gone. 31%. That guy just called me a bastard. What? I didn't know he was an innocent folk. That guy too. Wow, the uh, emulation is not uh is not kind to this level. Yeah, we can kind of tell the sprites are like flickering a lot. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that guy with the crossbow. So I guess we're going to that territory then. His horse uh, is great at holding guns, though, apparently. <laughs> Old Western arcade game, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's, it's you know. Tis what tis, sadly. <laughs> ah. Ow! Ah! I, I wonder if this level's ever gonna end? <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If Konami ever ported this game, maybe they would have uh, been like, you know, maybe change that one enemy. But, whoa, hold on. <laughs> okay, here's suddenly a boss. <laughs> Was the boss just hanging out in this stagecoach? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. After the first boss, guy just throwing barrels, not really, uh, <laughs> not really, uh, having the same impact. Nearly as interesting. Yeah. He's just like, he's just a jerk. <laughs> Carriage jerk, that's what they call him. Yeah. When's the guy with two rocket launchers but a cowboy? I feel like that's kind of what Konami was lacking compared to Taito when they were making these games. Taito went there the he goes. yeah. <laughs> Taito went the full mile making their game like kind of goofy. What what is that? What's this like? What's this like? <laughs> what's this like? Konami Simpsons arcade game music. I mean, I know it's the same company, but <laughs> that that was our one-liner, huh? Mind if I play, boys? You got a second controller on that set up there? <laughs> Hi. 
Uh, we're just, uh... <laughs> I must have forgotten how, uh, how much this leans into the stereotypes here. But again, old Western thing, I suppose that would be sadly natural. <laughs> are we are we playing cards? Well, I'm gonna draw this here blue eyes white dragon. This varmint got the uh, dark magician girl card. Dark magician girls are really like the only thing I remember from you uh, from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Whoa! Holy crap! That was cool. Maybe some coming up from under the bar. Uh, <laughs> he just kind of walked off getting shot in the gut. Oh, that's so good. He gets up and then he's just like, wait a minute. Save me, Sheriff. Eat lead, Sheriff. I'm getting mixed signals from you, game. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Don't shoot innocent people. This is the Wild West. That was happening, like, all the time. See, I can tell the, the light was interactable because it kept flickering <laughs> due to the emulation. Okay. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that guy. That guy. <laughs> oh, shit, we got a Gatling gun! Now we don't have one. What does that even mean? <laughs> Fuck. What? What are you saying? I couldn't make any heads or tails of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Can't hit the bronze side of a barn. This is the sheriff. Oh, uh, never mind. My dumb partner stopped me, I guess. Uh. Double rigs? Is that what he just said? So rigs is in both of these games in some form. Wait, isn't that the guy from Dark Feature? <laughs> I think the hero bartender guy just walked past us. This is just a multi theme park. Yeah. <laughs> he cut his own hair this time. So it all makes sense. This is just a multi theme park. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. Well, he's coming back anyway. It's, you know, he's fine. The dark feature is we're still in the old west and the stereotypes are stronger than ever. Is it... What's with that guy? <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye. Uh... Wait, what? What? Um... How do, how do we lose? Oh my god, we're gonna do this over and over again, aren't we? 
Do I have to kill the real one? I think so. I don't think so. I, I think I get it now. Hold on. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Posse. Doesn't help <laughs> the brothers control V. <laughs> I gotta say, you know, after Under Fire in Area 51, this is like too normal. Like, I'm not seeing like guys in giant mascot suits with uh, grenade launchers and. Under Fire really is an incredible it's game. Generic cowboy. Yeah. Under Fire really is just incredible. <laughs> like, I feel like we should have saved that for last. But I, I had to, like, play it immediately, so. Huh? Shit. Uh, sorry! <laughs> Yeah, the fact that the horses just keep riding after they die is kind of kind of grim. Oh shit! I, I was I was busy uh, soothing my wrist. Oh my god, the sky is collapsing. Whoa! Oh my god! Simulation is falling apart. <laughs> this really is the theme park. This is an under fire. You almost die. <laughs> I thought there was just like an enemy that was like a worm or something. Or doing the worm, I should say. Huh? I thought that was the lady coming... Wow, I'm... I'm having trouble keeping up all of a sudden. Fuck! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> well, he sounds so defiant. He's like, well, I don't want to die. Hey, cows. That cow is side-eyeing side -eyeing me so bad right now. It's judging you. <laughs> I don't want to die, my god. I don't want to die, mom. <laughs> You either die right now or you go <laughs> go to bed with no supper. Uh. You know what else this game is lacking? It's lacking everybody saying, What do you think of that? every two seconds. Oh, shit. You treat your mom as respect Pantera. <laughs> Alright, up. Oh! So are we gonna meet the boss now? <laughs> okay, that dude's pretty great. <laughs> I, I I think we found Mad Dog McCreen. He's gone especially mad now. Yeah, his, his sprites are less stable than an NES bootleg character. Ugh. I, 
I would be focusing in on how his beard is obviously fake and his hair is a different color if, uh... Ugh. Wait! Come on, die! How are you not dead? <laughs> he was really overreacting there. He just kind of fell, like, on the sand instead. What? Oh. Hi there. Yeah, the fact that it implied he got ground up by the train like Prazudo is, uh, a bit much. <laughs> yeah. If only he had a, 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 an Old West uh, equivalent of Pesci to hook him. <laughs> okay. Posse. Okay. Drop them irons? <laughs> ah, okay. I thought that was Woody for a second. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Obviously where they got the inspiration from this game. Fuck! Old West version of Let's Eat Their Lunch. That totally is just a Woody cosplayer over there. This man is not pleased to be in this game. <laughs> I would love to be in a game like this. Maybe with less stereotypes, but you know. What the, what the hell you were doing? <laughs> were you doing here? Who is brains out? That dude had all of these. That dude had what? That dude just jumping off the top. <laughs> yeah. Only to get shot. This game really is evil. Yeah. <laughs> that guy just lost his upper half while doing a combat roll. Sometimes games don't need to be emulated right to be good. Huh. <sighs> okay, uh... Ah. Well, don't have your innocent foes looking like the fucking villains! Okay, uh... Yeah, it's no, what do you think of that? But, you know, it's pretty good. It's close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh... Ah! Don't have innocent folks being everything? Well, Area 51 got close. Huh. Well, after after Power Instinct, I have not trusted Granny since. <laughs> huh. Uh. Oh, you're. Okay, your arms are tied. I was wondering what the hell she was doing. I say, think. Uh, is that what's going on there? I can't tell. She was doing the wired bag thing. <laughs> Also, maybe, you know, like, get off the screen. <laughs> this is like the longest I've ever seen a civilian tempt you into shooting them. By accident, of course.
There goes Cowboy Mike Dawson. <laughs> Oh boy. So, this, uh. Yeah. Um. This is our final boss. He's. He's summoning skeletons at us, and. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> I, I, There's so much flashing uh, going on during this play that it's making Discord freak out. Oh, is it? Also, they, I was really hoping that was a typo. There he is. Uh, I will say, if you ignore the general design of the boss himself, uh, this fight is kind of an awesome fight. <laughs> it's just so weird. But, yeah, the boss himself is uh, kind of ruining it. Also, the fight itself is, like, kind of ridiculous. Like, and there's, like, very little chance to actually shoot him. It's like, everything about this fight is pretty cool, ex ex except for, you know, <laughs> the... Uh... <laughs> okay, then. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so remind me never to play old Western games again. <laughs> If it was just a skeleton with a headdress, that would be a good boss design. Yeah, definitely. Trying to see if they credit their actors. Including the uh, final boss who uh, did not want his name to be a... Uh... Uh. Yeah, there's no Konami staff in the uh, cast either. Oh, wait. Uh, well, there's the Japanese name there, but I don't know if... Uh... Michael Blaustein. <laughs> There's a lot more people than I thought there were in this game. I feel like Tetsuya Iwata is a name I recognize from something. Uh, that's enough of that. Uh, we might be able to squeeze in the first la uh, Lethal Informers, I feel like, after... Uh, after some of the themes of that one, I have to wash my mouth out a little. It's also almost quarter of midnight, too. Hmm. Maybe we should end it here, then. It's, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... It's been Walt. <laughs> uh... Thanks, Sasha, for being here with me. No problem. And, uh, we'll see you uh, possibly Sunday. So... Night. See ya.